also wrote an article about three potential trap games. Um, so you got week number nine, uh, Browns hosting the Cardinals. Uh, week number seven, uh, traveling to Indianapolis to play the Colts. And week 16, Texans coming to Cleveland um, to play the Browns. Take us through your thoughts on, on those. Uh, those are all eminently winnable games. Uh, couple of likely to be a couple of rookie quarterbacks and who knows when Kyler Murray uh, is healthy enough to go yeah not only the, the issues with Kyler Murray but the the Cardinals roster as a whole I mean they're one of the four teams that didn't get a primetime game because their roster is just it's it's not very good right now um, but if you look at each one of those games they're kind of sandwiched in between tough contests but with the with the Colts you've got the 49ers and the Seahawks two playoff teams on either side of it um, same with the Cardinals. You had the, the Seahawks in week eight and then the Ravens in week 10. Um, and then the Texans, you've got, you know, the, the Jets um, game on, you know, the, you're playing the Texans on Christmas Eve. And then on Thursday, the following week, you're playing the New York Jets, who, you know, team that they've kind of struggled with lately and now has Aaron Rodgers. So you've got these very good, very pivotal games that are either coming before coming after or maybe even before and after each one of those contests. So I think those are the, typically the kind of games that we've seen this Brown, the, the Browns look past uh, in recent years. Um, and, and it could come back to bite them if they don't take it seriously.